Okay, we're here at Convict Lake, as I said before, and now hopefully you can see why everybody loves this place so much. That mountain off in the distance is known as That mountain is called Picture Peak. I believe it has another name, but most people just refer to it as Picture Peak. It's one of the most photographed places anywhere, which you can probably start to see why. Now, the lake itself is pretty darn stunning too. We're gonna do some lake fishing in the next couple weeks. We might even fish here today a little bit, but um, we had to stop here and at least check it out. Here's one of the boards with a little bit of information on it. sun is so bright I can't even lay down it's just scorching my skin and blinding my eyes even through the um, sunglasses turns out the uh, camera on the glasses is full again or so it's telling me uh, I must have left it running by accident I don't know uh, it should, should have had about half of its memory and its memory capacity is 16 gigabytes so I should have been able to do quite a bit of recording here um, so some of my footage may not show up like it was supposed to. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can hang. I mean, yeah, this is a fucking amazing place. I got my log to lay on and chill on. But, um, the sun is just killing me. Killing me. I think we're at about 8,000 foot here. And when you're up at 8,000 foot, you're a little bit closer to the sun. So yeah, I've got a nice log to lay on. Temperatures aren't too bad. Gorgeous backdrop. Fish that are kind of biting. I keep chewing my chin. I burnt it last night on something I ate that was too hot. But uh, the sunlight is killing me. I mean, I, I'm a little used to it now, but up here at 8,000 foot, 7,900, same difference. Uh, you really cook quick if you uh, haven't already got a little bit of a suntan before you get up in this high elevation you better bring some sunscreen I'm not using sunscreen because I do have a little bit of a tan but I may regret that later you'll know if I'm red uh, for all my videos in the next couple weeks anyways I've been fishing for a little while nothing yet but I'm not giving up I'm gonna give it another 10 15 minutes and then we have to go. We've got to get back down to the hot springs while we can still get a, a nice flat camping spot at the hot spring I want to go to. And then next month we're going to spend a week or two at some lakes that are in their own way more awesome than this. This is the best lake up here as far as the mountains in the background. But these other lakes we're going to, they're pretty damn spectacular too. Do whatever you want. Don't let anyone tell you you can't, and have a blast doing it. Okay, uh, it's dumping like crazy, and lightning and thunder. I don't know if that's coming through on the video or not. It's not really dark enough to see the lightning, unless it's really close. But we're back down here at our campsite. It's a good thing we got here when we did, because it's dumping. Um, hail, too. It's, it's coming down pretty hard. The history of Convict Lake, I wanted to tell you guys that, and that's why I'm adding this to the end of the video. 
a lot of people go there for um, company parties and graduation parties and uh, people have their honeymoons there, people have their weddings there, all kinds of things because it's such an amazing place. But back in the 1800s, there was a prison out in Nevada and a group of guys escaped, con convicts escaped from the prison and fled here into California. Now we're not far from the Nevada line, I think maybe 50, 75 miles at most. Uh, you don't get much more Eastern California than this. These guys fled, they found Convict Lake, which was perfect because there's a really steep road leading up in, and then you're surrounded on three sides by mountains that are too, too sheer for horses to travel over. So these guys said, hey, this is a perfect place to hold up. We can see anybody coming, we've got the high, the, you know, high ground advantage. The first posse that come after them, I believe they shot up. So they sent another larger posse, which eventually did capture all of the convicts, well, killed most of them, captured a couple, and the couple that they captured, they just took back and hung them anyway. You know, they didn't play around back then. Um, but so that's how it got its name, Convict Lake. Now, I, I, I may have a few uh, details of the story mixed up or scatterbrained it or whatever, but the story's out there. You can even Google right now, I mean YouTube. YouTube is Google anymore, right? Um, you can even YouTube Convict Lake and you might find a couple of the old movies based on the actual story. Or you, who knows what you'll find. Picture Peak is one of the most photographed peaks anywhere. And that whole area, I mean, who wouldn't want to whip a camera out when you're there? So I'm sure I'm not the only person to have Convict Lake stuff on YouTube. Probably the only guy to spend the second half of it talking, making you look at my ugly face when I could have said all this with a, you know awesome lake in the background, but whatever. 